they got work to do. Morning, Ringo. Hi, Donkey Dan. Hey, Tilly. Hey, Walter. Hi, sweeties. Annie, Ernie. Hi, Andy. Hi, Ima. There, sweet sissy. Hi, sissy. Man, there is no grass here, my friends. None. Sad. Morning, folks. Lester here. Uh, Trixie and I have come to do some fencing this morning. Yes, we're going to be doing some barbed wire fencing. And we're excited about it. We got here early trying to beat the heat. And I figure we got, well, today is my Friday. And so at noon, I always do my lunch with Longhorn Lester live. I love that. It really is kind of a thing I look forward to all week long. So what I'll be doing is leaving here at 10. So if I can get started here at seven, give me three good hours of work. Three hours, that's all I need. Three hours, I can do it. All I'm doing is patching up some fence, some temporary fencing. Uh, you guys come with me. It's always funner and gooder when you do things together. Everyone looks good around here. Let's go see what my cows are up to. Ba-boom. I'm sitting here laughing and smiling, not in a bad way. I met Megan. <laughs> and I'm like, Megan, it's not even seven. It's not. She's not even gone to bed yet. Yeah. She's not gone to bed yet. What? You and Ellie are both such night owls. And it was funny he's been, story. He's been asleep. Like, he's been asleep for a while. I've just been up. Funny story is, Brienne told me that she noticed that at nighttime, she sees little flashlights moving around. <laughs> Brienne, you know, Brienne sees everything. Brienne's like a little, like a little yeah. night owl to herself. She watches everything. And she says at night, she sees flashlights yeah. moving all around over here. So y'all do a lot of y'all's jobs at night. We do. Like, we come out, <laughs> we do so many night checks. But thank goodness we did because we found that big old snake. Yeah, no, no, I don't blame you. It's hot during the day. It is. And uh, I totally understand. But uh, thumbs up to you, Megan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm off to do some fizzing this morning. Well, I'll be done by 10 o'clock myself, I promise. Today we shall conquer. We're going to conquer some fencing down here in the back. 38.6. Not 40. You guys need to know that this fence is not going to be professional. It's going to be a quick fix. Just a very quick fix. There's nothing permanent going up here. Because eventually 
when my dad's ready, he's gonna deed off some land to me over here, and I don't wanna have a fence to take down later. So I'm gonna do a temporary fence to keep my cows in, keep Moses out, and it's going to look like, it's not gonna be pretty, but it's going to work for now. <laughs> All right, so listen, I know this is not representative representative of my work. You're gonna have to just let me have this one, guys, because like I said, it's foolish for me to come by and put an expensive fence here with all the work that's just going to be temporary. So. I want you to know how much you hurt my feelings yesterday. Moo, I'm sorry. Accept my apology, please. I don't know if I should believe you or not because you always pick on me. Moo, listen to me. I just play, that's my way of playing. All right, so this is the only other section that I can find where there's absolutely no fencing. Now I'm watching for snakes. But um, the fencing comes to this tree over here and it's tied off there pretty well. It's so thick. The hedge line here is so thick that nothing would go through there anyway. But from this tree, you can see that the fencing is all down. That's a tangled mess. And so I don't think that we're gonna have our cows trying to get over and I don't think that his bull is gonna try to come through all of that. But we definitely need to come by and run wire from that big tree at this angle down to this tree in the ditch over here. Wait, wait a minute. There's post and wire over there in that ditch. So maybe this tree has fallen over and just, all right, so I have a little work to do over here, but that's not going to happen today. I've uh, done my job for the day. So there is more to come. There's more to come. But I'll say this, the Longhorns are happy to have more area to forage on. There's not a whole lot of grass out here, but there's tons that they can eat and are eating. Let's just swing by and have one last peek at them before we head back up towards the house. Charlene, I don't know what you're doing, but Mama doesn't like it. Jolene, thank you for saving your... Who is that to her? Thank you for saving your... Your aunt. <laughs> Jolene just saved Aunt Charlene. <laughs> Hold on, this is funny. Jolene went for a walk with her aunt and had to save her life. Oh, that is the funniest thing. You saved your aunt's life. So Charlene is Jolene's aunt, right? Yes, you have a little aunt. She's a little aunt. Oh my gosh, that's the funniest thing ever, Jolene, is you saved your little aunt. <laughs> okay, listen to me. They're fine, y'all. They're good. Everyone's good. And um, I know there have been a lot of folks who said they've had a hard time. They can't really tell who's who because there's so many white cows. Well, I'm just going to say this. I'm going to say it real quiet. Marilyn is a real pretty white one. She's really pretty. Like, she's very healthy. Purr. 
girl is very skinny. She's always been a skinny little twerp of a girl. Just a skinny girl. Like, she's really skinny, okay? Now, Charlene's just a baby, y'all. She's just a baby now. Come on. You can't have a hard time telling Charlene apart. And then, you know who's even more baby than her? Is uh, Danny. Danny's a little baby, too. And then the one you don't mess with is Santiana. She's the matriarch. She's the godmother. Do they call it godmother? She's the godmother, y'all. You don't mess with her. She's the matriarch of them all. That's the one you don't mess with. All right. Friends, that was a job well done. Trixie and I want to thank you for hanging out with us. And uh, it's always funner and gooder, you know that. Now we're off to Sonic to get a Dr. Pepper and an ice cream. A wag cup. <laughs> we'll see you on the next video, huh? If I die dumb, doing something stupid, take the video. And YouTube it, tell the others how. I tried to this make them proud. My last words. No, wait, I can do it. What are you going to do? Oh, oh no. Carl!